Amos chapter 9. I'll read from verse 11 through to verse 15, which is the last verse. So the scripture says from verse 11, it says, On that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down, and repair its damages. I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of, of Edom and all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord, who, who does this thing. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when the plumb man shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him who sows seed. The mountains shall drip with sweet wine, and all the hills shall flow with it. I will bring back the captives of my people Israel. They shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink wine from them. They shall also make gardens and eat fruit from them. I will plant them in their land and no longer shall they be pulled up from the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. So we see uh, diverse kinds of promises that God was making. And he was saying, I am the one that will fulfill it. <laughs> I am the one that will do this. I am the one that will do that. I am the one that will do that. Uh, 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 but the reason I read from verse 11 is to, you know, bring in the tabernacle of David. Because the tabernacle of David is sitting right at the center of this promise of God. You know, um, um, whenever you study the promise of God, Sometimes, uh, most promises of God, they have a background. There is a premise to the promise. And there is the purpose of the promise. So, not only are you expected to look for the promise, not only are you expected to, to study and meditate on the promise, you are also expected to study and look for the premise, to study and look for the purpose, because there is always a purpose why God is giving that promise. There is always an agenda. There is, there, there, there is always something that God wants to do. So there is a premise, there is the promise, and then there is the purpose. I will use the case of Abraham as an instance. It's a ready example that comes to my mind whenever I talk about this, um, this thing. In um, Genesis chapter 12, right when god was telling him you know get out of your country get out of your family go to a land i will show you he says in blessing i will bless you right he said i will make your name great i will make you famous i think that's how amplify puts it or message he said i will make you famous i will make your name great and then through you all the nations of the earth shall be blessed so in this word of god to abraham there is the promise but there is also the premise and there is the purpose the premise was get out of your country get out of your father's house that was the premise it is the premise for the promise so the promise is i'm going to make you great but the premise is get out of your household get out of your country so had it been Abraham did not leave, no matter how much he believed the promise, it would not have come to pass in his life because there is the premise to the promise. There is something he had to do. There was something he had to do. He had to change his location. He had to advance. He had to move out of his father's house. He had to move out. You know, yesterday we, we, we prayed about right environment. So he had to move out of an environment into another environment. He had to move out of his country, out of where he was comfortable, out of his comfort zone. It was not an easy journey, but because of the promise, he left. And he was planted in that place where God wanted him to be. And then he began to, to prosper. 
and now all the nations of the earth are you know obtain their blessing from abraham so there is the premise and there is the promise and then there is the purpose the purpose is that all the nations it's not just that i want to bless you abraham he said through you all the nations shall be blessed he said i will bless them that bless you i will cause them that that, that cause you in blessing i will bless you and you shall be and i will make you a blessing to the nations so the purpose of the promise was so that he could become the a blessing to the nations so there is always the premise there is the promise and then there is the purpose so the reason that i read from the tabernacle of david is that the restoration of the tabernacle of david is at the foundation of this promise of god because it says in verse 11 it says on that day i will raise up the tabernacle of david which has fallen down in essence i'm going to raise it up again i will start from that foundation and as a result of what i'm i'm doing it will now cascade and bet other things i will raise up i will restore the, the tabernacle of david that they may that they may possess the remnant of, of edom so as a result of raising up the tabernacle of david the place of authority is extended to the nations the gentiles so gentiles will begin to come gentiles will begin to flow and then a whole lot of other things i will establish them in their land the 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 plumber will overtake the reaper there will be abundance there will be so much to harvest that there won't be time enough to harvest before the next planting season that's the interpretation of that the, the plumber will overtake the reaper that's the interpretation maybe currently you are in that place where it is not always enough you are in that place where there was uh, you you are in the place of not enough there are diverse levels there is the not enough level there is the enough level but there is the overflow at that point of overflow that is when the plumber will overtake the reaper and that's where god is promising to bring us into no matter your level there is the promise of god what god is looking at is not you know just for you to survive it's not for you to survive no what god is looking for is the overflow whereby you can overflow whereby your cup can run over ah yeah your cup will run over i declare unto you this day your cup will run over by the anointing of the spirit i declare that your cup runs over so we'll just start from the tabernacle of, of david our time is fast spent so you begin to pray the tabernacle of david is the tabernacle of praise it is the tabernacle of worship the the, the tabernacle that david raised was one in which he put musicians musicians he put singers there and they were continually singing you know the tabernacle in the tabernacle of moses there was the the sacrifice of incense you know the the um the animal killing and, and all of that but in the tabernacle of, of david he put singers and said sing for um um um, um let your let let songs rise to god every time that was the tabernacle of david and it was a precursor to the tabernacle of solomon in which he tried to combine that of moses and that of his father david right so the prayer is simple lord bring me into that realm you know we've been saying it here for for quite some time it within this month that god is bringing us back into that place of praise that heart of of gratitude heart of thanksgiving heart of worship heart of praise it is at the foundation of what god wants to do in this season it is at the foundation of what god wants to bring into your life in the coming season it is at the, at the it, it is the foundation of what god is bringing your way so i'm going to pray 
we are going to pray and say lord help us oh god to be restored into praise to be restored into worship to be restored into thanksgiving let that heart of thanksgiving continually be in us in the name of jesus may we not allow the enemy to steal our thanks may we not allow the enemy to steal our worship can you go ahead and begin to pray that there will be the restoration of the tabernacle of david in your life there will be the restoration of the tabernacle of david in our lives in the name of jesus Zenetoya, I see the clouds thick with rain. I see the clouds thick with rain. I see the clouds thick with rain. I see the clouds thick with Reketolia tosa viva la tonga paha. Rekete ke tosa lia kaperua si veretai. Mende te te dosa na katulia tombre do rova natai. Zele no sa vika paha. Reko sa vila tosa vento comparatio sa va. Reke sus alia tova la tai. Mende te te ko sa via tosa palatai. Reke tosa lia shada da ta. Resun sana ta 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 ya kuata yenzo doma. Resus ka via tono veletai. Reko ska vila tosa vante veledo. Reko sa vila tosa valatai ba 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 and shada da 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 reko sa vila tosa valatai me be 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 ko valatai do valatai resus ka dai to me te 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 do shada da 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 resus ka valatai da valatai and shada da 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 ka bai len sai da valatai in our lives in our families the tabernacle of david is restored the tabernacle of david is raised in the name of jesus resus ka vive me no shada ka pelo varada Resus kavelatea menon shana mama 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 Resusa vaina jene ketosa lia vrahalia shanda balatai zede ketelianda belatende kalia don jene dede resusa viva letonza vaia mene no shanda makamino zevelatai reketolia da da mino shama datai may that gathering of the clouds pour into your life in the name of Jesus may that gathering of the clouds pour into your life he says if the clouds be gathered they will pour themselves upon the earth. Ha Rezus Vendo Lokovara is jet at the tail of Vendo Savalatai. Men and no shamama. I just saw the clouds gathered, filled with rain, full of rain. Ha Oh ZV, get ready for a downpour. Genento Rezus Vele no shanamama. Rezus Veletai. Again, dossier. Valio Shanagua. Zelia Gumbreto. Resiado. Regete Catolia. Enzo Vendo Lua. Recatea. Genento. Zova vante liko bara alia ruskevea reketolia zunze veletolia bamba shiado baba rekete zuniando vavala qualia shanda baram do rivelete kai zekente likasi veleto savin veleto reketo shaba baba rins and de ruatli ando shada reteketo salia kaparam deliato veletai in the name of Jesus I declare over you jende aos ia the gathering of the clouds will not pass you by in the name of Jesus the gathering of the clouds will not pass you by oh Jana just lift up your hands wherever you are I declare the gathering of the clouds will not pass you by in the name of Jesus the gathering of the clouds will not pass you by in the name of Jesus let the clouds open up over you you and let there be a downpour. Let the clouds open up over you. And let there be a downpour in the name of Jesus. Let the clouds open up on o- o- over you. And let there be a downpour in the name of Jesus. Aye, zelia kaido vendele toshatai zevele teka mini ya doma shamba dada. Oh, ame enzuvele tai over that thing that you have not tamed the beauty. Over that thing that you have tamed ordinary. Let there be the springing up of a well of water in the name of Jesus. Aha. 
over those things that you have termed ashes a beauty arises in the name of Jesus a beauty arises in the name of Jesus oh by the strong arm of God and by his outstretched arm I declare unto you that beauty is arising from places where you never thought of beauty is arising from places you never envisaged beauty is arising and shakwasi velon savaratai resus eveletaya sonsa eco veletai menon shanamama bababai resus eferetai da valatai in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we are going to um progress with that with that scripture Ayashiava verse 13. He said, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord. <laughs> Can you just rejoice? The days are coming, the days are closed, the days are coming. Aye no shada. Your life may not be what it right now, but the days are coming. Ah, the days are coming. Ah, Shiana Kappa. You may not have it all figured out, but the days are coming. Ah, yes, Solama. You may not be where you desire to be, but the days are coming. Antelua, Resuya, the day, Kwa Inshanai, the Days are coming. The days are coming. The days are coming. Aya don't shabba baba. You may not have it yet, but the days are coming. Can you just tell yourself the days are coming? The days are coming. Ha. The days are coming. Aya do belo. Ra andesie lo komba radia. The days are coming. Aye jana na na ninzo faradia. The days are coming. Ha. It may not be working now, but the days are coming. The company may not be going well now, but the days are coming. The business may not be going well, but the days are coming. My health may be failing, but the days are ya. The days are coming. Ayana Shanda Belletai Zenadadadi Shanda Dadadia Dobala Daba Dabala Ta Regadegate. The days are coming. The days are coming. Shania Tosa Viva Rahalia Shanda Balata Zenate Umbre Tosa Vradura Bada Bilete Lagadia. I said, I will cut this short in righteousness. I shall no mama 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 baba I gadio seven a time. I will cut this short in righteousness in the name of Jesus. I will cut this short in righteousness. I Shonoma, Sibelete, Retetani, Shonoma, Mama, Makandosia, Retetekia, Tonsavalata. Though the darkness may be around you currently, but the days are coming, and the days are being cut short in my righteousness. And out of in that day, a great light will shine in your life, a great light will shine out of your life in the name of Jesus. And kings will begin to gather unto you, Gentiles will begin to flow to you. Ah, the days are coming, the days are coming, the days are coming, and they are not far off. They are not far off, they are not far off because God says, I will cut it short in righteousness. I will cut it short in righteousness. Kabara, the Ruse, Resuse Feriada, Shanda Mama Mama, Zezefea, Resuse Feletai, and Shuno Kopata. The days are coming, and also when the enemy talks your heart, tell him, The days are coming when the enemy wants to mess with your mind, tell him, The day are coming. I know whom I have believed. I know whom I have trusted. I know in whom I have put my faith in. I have the assurance and I know he has said the days are coming. The days are coming. Shannon Tesuze. I may not be married now, but the days are coming. Resono Venetaya. Then Shono no na. I may not have children now, but the days are coming. Aya. Resone nekete. Shono vanande suveletai. Resuze fella. And I proclaim over you that which is your deepest heart desire. In the name of Jesus. Ta in Shono te. Resono vanande. So so feletea, Jekio seveno amamia, Redeno shana mama kaido veneta, Retenin sobahia, on she in sono menekai, Retenias, ya don't have it in your mind as I pray, Jedeke to saia, Rete don saika valatai, Rete don sabai, Mete don saika bababai, 
Whatsoever is your deepest desire, resign on my mama. On the strength of God's calling upon my life, I declare in the name of Jesus. It is made manifest in the name of Jesus. It is made manifest in the name of Jesus. Kabaye, Jonon te zovale in sovalai. Rete te te dosha na mama mama mama. Ayasi e venon sa ivaya. Zaydon sa ze veyo fahirove. Zayo sa yo ven ze igovea. Zayo sa yo veni soveya kai. Zaydon sa ika yesu sa viveneta. Asi e kope ven desi e te keto sava. Me beden da shan de ke te ke te ha En zi so ven te ke perwa Zi en don sa a ke pelon jadada Re ke te no sa e A zi se ven e ta e That which you have struggled over for a long time In the name of Jesus Re te ke te ha He comes on a plateau of gold In the name of Jesus Re ta 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 Je te ke te ke ta ba 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 Re zi an no man a ta e Beyond your wide Imagination um, beyond your widest dreams, ah, jete ke peru savana, reska de bala kadaja, en se sendo varada shada, resaida pa 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 kamino shada. It comes, it comes, it is here. In the name of Jesus, and if there is a sickness that you are battling with, just put your hands right there now. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim God's healing power over you. In the name of Jesus, let the healing power of God come upon you now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that spirit of infirmity ravaging your body. I declare, go now in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, you are restored to a perfect health. In the name of Jesus, you are healed, you are delivered. In the name of Jesus, your body is not the domain of sickness. No. Jenekali para zelulandi resulie kavara nashia in sodo venetai jekamani sove in the name of Jesus in the area of your life that is sick in the name of Jesus I proclaim healing right now I proclaim healing right now ayusheva desuzefeleta healing to your finances healing to your marriage healing to your relationship. Healing to your career, healing to your business, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shama Makiverosia, I proclaim healing over Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your life, your life cannot remain the same again. Kai, your life has been changed. Your life has been transformed. Can never be the same again. Hold on. Your help has come. Your help has come. Your help has come. Thank you so much for joining me.